One of the most important parts of becoming a high-value man is to be financially free. This allows you to live your life on your own terms, be the master of your own time, and to solve problems. It also allows you to take care of the people closest to you and to give them experiences that they will never forget. Of course, it will also give you all of the earthly possessions you desire, but that is not the main goal. Buying a Lamborghini will never make you as alpha as retiring your parents. Remember that. Now, if you want to become wealthy, the most basic advice you get from people is to start investing and start investing early. They will tell you about the wonders of compound interest and how time in the market beats timing the market. This is great, and by no means is it a lie. But the bitter reality is that taking what little money you have left each month and placing it in a low-cost index fund will take you decades to build your wealth. I am not saying that you should be impatient. Dedicating yourself to something and being patient is indeed a good thing. But the sad reality is that even after you have waited 50 years, your fortune will not be more than a few million dollars. And when accounting for inflation, this will not be enough to live the lifestyle that you desire. Sure, you will be comfortable and you will be financially secure, which will be a huge relief of stress. But if you are a young man who desires to escape the matrix and live an above average lifestyle, you need to take an entirely different approach. Investing in stocks and index funds is a great way to preserve and grow your wealth over time. So if you already have a few million dollars to spare, you should absolutely place a considerable amount in the stock market. But I do not think this is the case. In this video, I will give you some actual useful advice on how you should approach your journey towards wealth. Make sure you stick around to the end. You do not want to miss any of these tips. Now before we get into it, Please do a brother a solid favor and leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. Now let's get into it. Tip number one, multiple streams of income. If you want to escape the rat race and achieve financial independence, you need to have multiple streams of income. If your only stream of income is a regular nine to five job, you are locked in a position where you do not master your own time. You have sold eight hours a day, five days a week to an employer in exchange for a paycheck. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong with working a regular job, but unless you want to be doing it until you retire, you need to plan your escape now. This will also make you more secure because any given day, your employer could fire you. And this would be a disaster for you if you do not have other streams of income. And with the internet, there has never been more opportunity than there is today. You simply need to give it a try. Tip number two, take more risk if you want to break free from the matrix you need to earn a huge return on your investment and what is the only way to earn a bigger return that is to take more risk i am not saying that you should be stupid or reckless about it you need to take calculated risks taking your entire savings account and throwing it all into one crypto coin or penny stock is not a calculated risk that is a gamble don't try to gamble your way out of the matrix. It might work, but your chances are pretty slim. What I am saying, however, is that you need to use the biggest advantage you have. Time. You are young. You have your whole life ahead of you. You have no obligations. Now is the time to take massive but calculated risks. Now is the time to be willing to fail, because you are going to fail. But when you are young, you have plenty of time to recover from a failed business idea. So start that side hustle you've been thinking about. Start that business you and your friends have been talking about. Do not overthink it. Just start taking action and figure things out along the way. You have plenty of time. But make no mistake, having plenty of time is not an excuse to procrastinate. You might have plenty of time, but if you are wasting it, what does it matter? Make good use of your time. Now, tip number three. Embrace failure. This can be seen somewhat as an extension to number two. When you are out there, taking risks, trying things out, you will have some failures. Now, as we talked about, this is not a disaster because you have plenty of years to recover from these failures. But you need to make sure that you actually learn from these failures. Because if you do not learn, then you might as well just stop trying because then you are never going to succeed. 
but if you make an effort to learn from the mistakes you make, you should embrace failure. Because when you fail, and you learn, you are one step closer to success. So don't give up. You are closer than you think. Tip number four, invest in yourself. To achieve financial independence, you need to invest. That is clear. If you could invest in the stock market and gain an annual return of 15%, you would be doing something that many would consider to be impossible. But if you were to invest that money in yourself, in your skills, your abilities, your knowledge, then the return could be several thousand percent. In reality, there is no real limit to what return you can gain from this. So when you are given an opportunity to invest in yourself and your growth, you must take it. Read books, take courses, get a mentor. A good investment in the stock market might make you a lot of money, but a good investment in yourself will give you the ability to increase your income for the rest of your life. Tip number five, stay focused and disciplined. Building wealth and achieving financial success takes time and it takes effort. To stay on track, it's important to stay focused and disciplined. We already talked about embracing failure, but just because failure is an opportunity to learn does not make it a good or fun experience. Failure can be an incredibly uncomfortable experience. So unless you are more disciplined than the average person, chances are that this bad experience is going to make you quit. Do not allow this to happen. If you are disciplined and focused, you will have the mental resources you need if you want to turn your failures into a success. Things will get tough. You will hit roadblocks, and it requires discipline if you want to last long enough to see success. You must never forget that. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.